Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily notes for Wednesday, October 19th, 2011. Well, the Occupy Wall Street protesters are starting to show their true colors. They've pooped on police cars, stepped on the American flag, sung F the USA. They've spit on military personnel, including women in uh, Coast Guard uniforms. They have uh, showed their debauchery with their sex, drug use, and open. Uh, they've also seen now rapes of women exposing themselves to children. And this is just like week three of the Occupy Wall Street movement. In fact, when you've got leaders like this guy in Los Angeles holding his megaphone while wearing his Daisy Duke shorts, it makes you wonder why anybody would embrace these guys. And yet, Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, the Democratic Party have embraced the nitwittery, the craziness, the anti-Semitism, the anti-Americanism, the debauchery of the Occupy Wall Street movement. What is really pushing this? Well, they don't even know themselves what they're protesting. And as they continue to promote their anti-Americanism, their anti-Semitism, their anti-capitalism agenda, it makes you wonder why they're here. They could go to the utopia of Cuba. It's interesting. You've got folks that get in little rubber rafts to try and swim away from the socialist utopia these folks are wanting to impose on us. If they want socialism in its extreme, they could go to North Korea. There's not a lot of folks trying to get in. There are a lot of folks that would love to get out of those socialist utopias. So why don't these Occupy Wall Street folks go find their peaceful place? North Korea, Cuba, plenty of access points if they really want to find what they're looking for. Of course, they're also now out on the hustings of Occupy Wall Street complaining that people are stealing their stuff. That's right, $5,500 laptops, expensive cameras, jewelry, money. They're finding that their stuff is being stolen. So while they're out there demanding that they be allowed to steal from the 1% because, well, there's more of them, they're upset that people are stealing their stuff. At least they're having some appreciation for property value out on the Occupy Wall Street front lines. I'm Steve Gill. Those are your daily notes for October 19, 2011.